With all our heart and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, for the welfare of the church of God, and for the unity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishop and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our president, for the leaders of the nations and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this town, for every city and community and for those who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the good earth which God has given us and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel on land, on water, or in the air, or through outer space, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the aged and the third, for the widowed and orphans, and for the sick and the suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those persons on our prayer, prayer list seeking guidance and strength, we pray especially for our parish family members, including Lily and Grayson, and those that you will name silently or aloud. We intercede for the people on our parish prayer list who are in need of healing, including Tara and Mary Ellen and Molly and Steve and Jane and Dave and Mary Ann and Zeke and Esther, for Dennis, for Emil, for Emily, Millie, Tony, Ava, Margaret, Art, and Daniel. We pray for people living with cancer, including Randy, Bob, Tom, Jeff, Dave, Rennie, Evelyn, Terry, and Jeremy. Let us pray for all of them and for others we, we name now either silently or aloud. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy that we may end our lives in faith and hope without suffering and without reproach. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Defend us, deliver us, and in thy compassion protect us, Lord, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. In the Susquehanna Convocational Cycle of Prayer, we pray for St. Paul's Bloomsburg. In the Diocesan Cycle of Prayer, we give thanks for the people of St. John's Westfield. We pray further for the residents and staff of the Episcopal home, especially as the home considers its closure in September of this year. We pray also for the parishes and leaders discerning their work and shaped by faith endeavors across the diocese. In the consortium and endowed Episcopal parishes, we seek wisdom for Trinity Episcopal Church, the Reverend John Hollinger, priest in charge in Atkinson, Kansas, in Christ Cathedral, the Reverend David Hodges, Dean in Salina, Kansas. We pray especially for those who attended the SEEP gathering in Louisville and the six priests who have been identified as testing positive for the coronavirus. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Church of England, the most reverend and right honorable Justin Welby, Archbishop of Canterbury. 
In the communion of saints, let us commit ourselves and commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord, our God.